What's up, everybody? We are uh, we're here today in my little game room. Um, we'll start this video off by saying that I had ordered some cigars back in late uh, December 2021 from uh, Zeal Cigars. And I ordered a 10 pack of the Primordial Connecticut's, the originals. Um, I got them in. They were packaged beautifully. The uh, you know there wasn't any bands or anything. That's just how they were doing them. It was in a nice cellophane. It had the little label on the back of it to tell you what it was. Um, I got them in. They were packaged nice. You know there was no issues with shipping or anything. So I opened them up. The day I got them, I cut one, lit it, started smoking it, and it just wasn't what I expected it to be. Um, it it was. It just didn't have a great taste to it. Um, and it's, you know, I've, I've got a very relaxed palate. I, I smoke a lot of different cigars, a lot of different brands, a lot of different flavors. Um, whether it's just regular raw tobacco taste or something that's creamy or something that's fruity, you know, whatever. I, I, I have a wide variety on what I smoke on a daily basis. So anyway, they were supposed to be kind of like a cookie dough type flavor or something like that or along those lines and so i got them and i had them you know like i say i smoked one and i wasn't pleased with it and i said well let me set them in a humidor and i actually had give a co-worker a few of them as well i'll give him a five pack um so we both had five each and throughout from december 21 till about three weeks ago i finally smoked the last one that i had he's still got a couple left in his humidor because he won't touch them um, they, they had horrible burning issues. Um, the, the cigar itself was rolled very nice, uh, but it just, it was tunneling. It was canoeing. It just, you know, I kept, they kept going out all the time. And then once you have it go out so many times, it starts tasting like ash, you know, like you're licking the bottom of a damn ashtray. And I, I, I got fed up with it. Well, I contacted Bradley at Zeal Cigars. I talked to him and Justin both super nice guys very understanding they said that you know it, it happens which I, I know in the cigar industry it does happen i've seen in very high-end cigars where you have issues it, it is it is what it is um but out the out the door i was having issues and i wasn't very pleased and i, I wasn't expecting anything i uh i contacted them just to see if i had gotten a bad batch because 10 cigars having the same issues with two different people and there's something something was was obviously wrong with that 10 pack um so bradley or justin had asked for my phone number personally and he called me he reached out to me uh the day after i sent the email he reached out and just went over everything with me was like hey man you know want to know what's going on you know I, i've i've seen a little issue here and there but nothing you know, nothing major, but, uh, let's, let's see what we can do to resolve this. And I was like, man, I'm not looking for anything for free. I was just trying to figure out if there was something going on. You know, if you had had a bad batch around that time, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, he told me, he said, man, if you make another, another order from me, um, he said, you know, considering that, that it has been a little bit, he said, if you don't mind making another order from me, I will gladly throw you some stuff in there. Um, and, and take care of this issue if that will resolve it. And I was like, well, look, man, there's really not an, an issue. I was just trying to figure out what was going on and, and seeing if there was a way, you know, me telling you my ex experience with it, maybe you could look into it a little further and see if anybody else had any problems. And he's like, no, 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 no. He said, you order something from me, I got you. So I ordered a five pack of some spice creams. I ordered uh, a, a individual of a few others. Uh, and so we got the package here today, brand new. I, I mean, I have not opened it yet. I just got it. So we're going to open this together and see what we got. I will say they uh, packaged this one very nice as well. It's, it's two flat rate boxes in a bubble wrap envelope. Um, very well taken care of. There's a little bit of something in both boxes here. So let's crack open the lighter of the two. Let's see what we can find. And here we are again. We have 
cigars and they are in bubble wrap inside of the box. Um, there's a little note, we'll get that in a minute. Here is some matches from JC Newman Cigar Company. Those will come in handy. One of them is kind of out of the box, but yeah, it matches what you expect. Looks like we have a pack of stickers here. Um, Zill Team 6. We got a Spice Cream. So this is some of what I ordered as well. Just the, the actual, these flavors. The Spice Cream, Zill Team 6. I ordered a uh, Party Animal, so I guess you get a cigar or a sticker with each one. Um, got a Got Your 6. Don't remember what that one was, but that's a cool sticker. I love these stickers, man. They are Twisted Fate. I remember ordering that one. Retro Ape. And then Yeti Tracker. So we have all those. Uh, there's another loose match in here. <laughs> all right. So this is my order. My order slip. I ordered a five pack of Spice Cream. A Crooked Beard Gordo Single. A Yeti Maduro Gordo Single. Party Animal Single. Retro Ape Single. Twisted Fate Pillar BXP Single. And I got your six cigars churchill single so there is our label from that tell us what all we got in that package so let's dive into that one a little further see what all's in this pack okay so here is the five pack of spice creams comes with a boveda inside of it Set them over here. This box feels a little heavier. Um, so I'm wondering if, you know, he said, Bradley said he was going to throw a few extras in there, maybe another five pack or something to, to kind of straighten it out. And it looks like there is quite a few things in this box. There was no note or anything in that one, which is, you know, it's fine. I've got plenty of stickers over here, which I'm happy with. I love stickers, by the way. Love stickers. Okay, so looks like we have a nice baggie full of goodies. Let's see what we have here. Got your six. There's our crooked beard. Boy, that's a big one right there. That's going to be a nice cut. Hopefully, that's a nice smoke. Here's the Yeti Tracker. I, I like a big cigar. I'm not a... 60 is about where I push it. I really don't like anything over a 60. That smells nice. That's weird. I hadn't seen one come from them, you know, actually paying attention to it with a, a you know, open foot like that. Um, and then here's my box press. So I got all those. So he did, in fact, send me a five pack of the Primordials. As you can see, right there, it is a 6x50 Primordial Connecticut. Come with a Boveda pack as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light one of these up here in a little while. Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to cut it, I'm going to light it, I'm going to smoke it for a little bit. See how it, See how it does, see how I feel about it. And uh, I'm all, you know, I'll do a review on it a little bit. This is no, not at all a paid advertisement. This is not a paid video, nothing like that. I purchased all this out of my pocket, except for what he sent me extra was the five sticks, which I had already bought a 10 pack and had a bad experience with them. Um, so he wanted to make it up to me and send me a couple free cigars. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, hopefully I don't have the experience that I had before with, uh, with the issues of the burning and the outs on it. So we will go to the back deck here in a few minutes and, uh, I'm going to cut one, going to light it and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm fixing to go put the rest of these in my humidor and let them, uh, let them get acquainted with their new friends, um, their new roommates. Um, and, uh, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Thanks. 